My name is David Seliger. I'm a 2012, and my major is Engineering Sciences Modified by Studio Art. I think some people are definitely much more gifted in the technical sense, and some people are much more gifted in just the creative, there's no structure kind of sense. I think I'm somewhere in between. The, the reason I want to do you know, engineering and studio art is that it gives me the chance to have an actual impact on the world. The way I want to apply art is through design, which is kind of the intersection of studio art and engineering. The thing about design is that you can affect people's behaviors, you can affect the world through design. You know, you look at buildings, right? You know, buildings shape the way we live. You look at street signs, street signs affect the way we drive on the road. For my intro to engineering class, we worked with the uh, Hanover Fire Department. But we found out that firefighter masks, when they're, you know, they put their masks on before they go into a building. They're walking around their mask, ask where it fogs up. So we wanted to create some kind of product which would, you know, clear their mask so they can see where they're going. And some of the guys said that they'll actually walk into ladders. They have no idea where they're going because the mask is so fogged up. So through uh, intro to engineering, we actually built this kind of fan system, which worked out quite well. I'm doing both uh, product design and material science right now. So product design is basically four inventions within three months. The first, <laughs> first invention was a vertical salad bar venting machine. Um, we only had one week to design and build a mock-up of it. Second invention was a, uh, a lock for frat jackets. Because you go into a frat, you tie your jacket to the, uh, to the staircase and then sometimes it disappears and you go to get it. So we designed a lock for that. And then I'm working on redesigning the police spotlight, which is mounted on every single police car. Uh, it's this device which hasn't been redesigned in 80 years. But I think my goal for after graduation is to take a year-long road trip, you know, because you know, I've grown up my entire life in New England, and you know, New England is a big source for design, and so is the West Coast. But a lot of America is in between New England and the West Coast. There's got to be a lot of design there. So I really want to discover what design in America is.